Welcome back to Shed Talks. Mark Allen. This is the second part on setting your training zones. Again, in that first uh, Shed Talk a couple days ago, I mentioned how I feel like heart rate is the best way to set your training zones. I was introduced to this in 1984. I had been training the way probably a lot of you have for at least some point in your, in your, in your racing career, where I just went by perceived effort. I knew how fast I needed to go in races, and so in a lot of my workouts, I just tried to hit that pace and that speed for even a little part of the session. I figured if I can't do it a bunch in training, how am I going to be able to do it in the racing? The first time I was introduced to a heart rate monitor it was by a gentleman named Phil Maffetone. He took me to a track and he said, we're going to have you warm up with the monitor on and when your heart rate gets to 150 beats a minute, we're going to have you time a mile. Now, back in the 80s, in Olympic distance racing, if I was going to win, I was going to have to run close to a five minute pace for the 10K at the end of a, an Olympic distance triathlon. So in all of my workouts, almost, almost all of my run workouts, at some point I would try and push the pace as close to five minutes as I could, whether it was 550, 530, 510, I didn't, it didn't matter. I just went hard for a little bit just to prepare myself for that effort in the races. I put on the heart rate monitor, I warmed up, Immediately, w within just two laps, my heart rate was at 150 beats a minute, and I felt like I was crawling. I timed the mile. It was an eight and a half minute mile. I said, this is too slow. Phil said, that's exactly what you need to do. Slow it down. Start developing your fat burning aerobic engine. He said, when you go into those anaerobic high heart rates, your body doesn't go back to fat burning for seven to nine hours, pure fat burning. I mean, that's amazing. It's not like if you just slow down, you go back to burning fat. It takes a long time for your body to shift back in, in the physiology. He said, also, when you are doing those fast efforts at the end of all your workouts, that's switching your body into the anaerobic, carbohydrate, high stress physiology. And when you go home and rest and recover, your body has to decide which one of those two physiologies am I going to develop most. Some ha for some reason, a human body tends to try to develop the, the anaerobic physiology if that has been part of the workout. So he said, it'll take time, but slowly over time, you're gonna get faster, you're gonna get faster, you're gonna get faster. So I did it. I slowed down, eight and a half minute mile. A few weeks later, it's an 8.10. A few weeks after that, it's a 7.30. And it continued to develop like that over the course of two years till I actually got to the point where I could run a five and a half minute mile at 150 beats a minute. I was still low stress, physiology, fat burning at a 530 mile. Think about the guys I was racing against. Their heart rate is probably 165 at that same, same pace. They're anaerobic. I have so much more reserve than they do. If you have never used heart rate before, you probably have done too much anaerobic work. When you first start out, you will have to do just as I did, slow things down. The perceived effort, especially running, which is weight bearing, will seem, can seem very, very slow. Patience will pay off. Eventually you will get faster. You may also see that you're fresher after all your workouts, that you recover quicker, that you are not getting those little niggling injuries that you used to have. Things aren't hurting as much because you're doing more of your training in low stress, aerobic development, fat burning development, the physiology you need to be a great triathlete. This is again what I use for my coaching, Mark Allen coaching. All my athletes train by heart rate. They measure their heart rate with watts, with pace, and I'll explain that. It, it's, a, it's a fun concept, but safe to say I've looked at everything over the years and this is the best way to go. Mark Allen for Shed Talks. I hope your training's going great.